Hey everyone, Gabe Knuth here from Mission Pinball and I want to give a quick demonstration video of our Gottlieb Big Shot EM conversion that we're using or doing with the Mission Pinball framework and the P-Rock hardware. Uh, we're going to kick the game off here. Uh, we've got a screen recording to show you what's happening in our console while the game is playing. Obviously we don't need this during the actual game when we have this thing uh, being played by regular people, but since we're sort of ingrained now into the uh, hardcore pinball fundamental stuff, we want to see that and uh, we want to show it off, frankly. Uh, we spent a lot of time uh, in the past few weeks, really a few months, getting this thing to this stage. and It involved rewiring the entire game. Uh, most recently, it has involved uh, trying to work out different power uh, scenarios. We wanted to keep the original coils in this game, which are AC coils and 25 volts at that. Uh, and so we had some struggles to get to DC. Uh, but once we got that figured out, uh, we were in good shape. Uh, and while I was working on that, Brian was writing the code to, to make this game work. Um, obviously, pinball machines are pretty complex. This one is not, which actually was a little bit of a challenge for us because we had to find different ways to do ball handling, uh, to handle our single ball trough that isn't really a trough at all, and to validate the play field. You can read all about that on missionpinball.com, uh, but for now, let's, uh, let's check out the demo here. First start, out comes a ball, and uh, we're going to try to make this work. You'll notice there's probably going to be a few anomalies, um, some oddball switches showing up on the console that didn't get hit. I would imagine if I bounce or bounce my fist on the play field, we'll probably see a few different switches firing off. My guess is probably number seven here. Um, the reason for that is we spent so much time working on code and the wiring that we haven't really given a proper cleaning to this thing. So all the leaf switches in there are gunked up. Uh, some of them are supposed to be normally closed. Uh, aren't making a perfect connection and some that are normally open are so close together that any vibration bounces them. So we'll get all that stuff worked out, uh, but we have a playable pinball machine right now. With new rubbers. It took a little bit of time to, to get the flipper power dialed in. You'll notice that buzzing sound that you hear is actually the patter function that we can do. Uh, so we're only using one coil, the primary coil for the flipper, and then we're patterning it to hold the thing open. This noise basically goes away when the glass goes on the machine. One of the benefits of using that patter with the flipper is that since we only have to power one coil, that saves us two extra spots on our uh, PD16 power driver board. Uh, and that means, of course, that we can handle more coils. This machine has two of those in it, one for the play field, one for the back box. Uh, and while it looks like there isn't much going on here, there's five or six on the play field alone, plus the chimes, plus the game counter, plus the knocker. Uh, so there's a lot going on here. Uh, you'll note, though, that we don't have any lights and we haven't heard any scores clicking by. That's next on our list, and so we're going to get to that, and in the next video you should see uh, a more fully functional game. Thanks for watching.